Hanko! Is it true that you finished first place with Chimera and won a case? Yeah, it was Steve. Yeah, it's because I carried your ass. That's yeah. why. No, no, we did great. On top of that, you won multiple locals with this deck. You are the new Chimera Master. Without further ado, why don't you tell the universe the genius behind Hanko's incredible deck? Let and maybe Yugi's is it Yugi's deck or your deck? Uh, it's, it's your deck now, baby. Uh, Let's go. Uh, I'm trying this new deck out. I came out from Duelist Nexus called uh, I don't know. It's Illusions. It's got this new type. It's really cool because all these monsters can't die in battle. Uh, so sometimes it comes up where you're just like, oh, I'll just pass, and then they, they just walk into it, and they're like, oh look. They don't die. Cool. So you're telling me that all illusions cannot be destroyed by battle? That's true. All illusions cannot destroy I battle, was... or, and they cannot destroy other nice. monsters by battle. So. Wow. Wow. I was today years old when I found that out. Yeah, the more illusion monsters uh, they're going to get in the future, the better this deck becomes. These are the core cards of the deck. Mirror Sword Knight and Coral. They search each other, except this is like a quick fire, a quick effect Lone Fire Blossom. And this one's like a, a Rota, essentially. You activate from your hand, discard it to add anything. And then when they're in the graveyard, they become like interruptions. So that's really cool. This one protects all your cards from being targeted by like negating and destroying the card effect and this one negates any monster effect that activates on the field so that's cool goal of this deck is to see these cards use this effect to summon a, a big wing bird from it when he's summoned you add two cards the chimera fusion and a level four beast so these are the other core cards of the deck most you want to mostly focus on this uh, using this to summon this and then add this and then go off so but sometimes nine are kind of the starters right yeah, yeah they're all kind of like starters. so if you didn't open these but you open this this is still kind of a pseudo star because you summon this and you can add either the chimera fusion or a level five theme so you can add this and then as like once you establish like this you're kind of golden you're, you're yeah. going places use this to bring this back and then use this to summon the other one from your deck so nice. Yeah, it gets a lot of momentum, and then this can add itself back from the grave. So it's like Gemini Fusion, but it's only once per turn. But it's not once per turn the fusion summon with it, so that's why we like this deck. Uh, to complement this, I chose to play with the Patchwork Engine. Uh, I specifically like like this package because if you only open this one, you can summon this, add, and then like this is a fiend. Right. And so you want to see a fiend with yeah. a beast, and that's yeah. like kind of like the core strategy. Nice. And sometimes if you're trying to play around hand traps, you want to like just open this. Yeah, uh, and it's just a really strong package in general. It gives you a play and a follow up, so I personally like it. Although I do side it out a lot, and and uh, just by being able to play Polymer Musician and making your Guardian Chimera untargetable comes up on a lot of matchups. Oh, yeah. So I, I personally like it. Nice imperm. Yeah. Too bad you can't use it. Exactly. And to complement this even further, we play Branded Fusion. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that if you use this effect on summon, you're locked into fusions. So you might as well play another card that locks you into fusions. Um, and the cool thing about this card is that you can summon this card. And then in order to make this card, you have to use uh, Albaz and this guy, which then bridges into your wow. like, uh, Chimera engine. Wow. And then uh, Big Wing Birth from it on summon can add you any level 4 beast. So you can technically add this oh. guy, <laughs> which then bridges into this next turn. But it's, it's another turn, but like sometimes you've already had this. Yeah. You might as get the different name so that way you can make guardian chimera yeah, because really it takes cool. monsters so yeah i get into both engines e easily just with one engine that's really cool exactly uh then i play two albazes i like to uh, even though it's a little bit bricky for sure it's just um you want to be able to resolve the first one sometimes to make this card and this will be stuck in your graveyard so yeah. now that the other two brand infusions are dead yeah. but having a second copy means that sure then i can go for the albion or rebellion play in the next turn and this deck's kind of slow but like it can it does have some OTK lines, but when you're playing against another grindy deck, like you need the follow-ups. Yeah. So that's why I like the two. Nice. Uh, and then these are like some other uh, engine requirements that you play. Main deck? Yeah, I main deck oh. these because I think that I think I need a more advantage against like Pearly because I've been mm. seeing a lot of Pearly in my yeah. area. Um, but yeah, this is another level four beast I can search for in this deck. And, so you uh, search for Wangu. Yeah, sometimes wow. you do. Yeah, and and uh, the one of the main monsters you make in this deck, this guy, when you summon him uh you make your opponent lose a card at the end phase but when it's at the graveyard you can banish it to summon any beast fiend or illusion monster so there's a play where you can set this up both in the graveyard and use this effect during your opponent's turn to bring this back as a floodgate <laughs> so having a searchable floodgate is really nice um i put this in last minute i wanted my brand infusion to actually like create pressure so that way uh my mirror mirror swordsman combo can actually resolve so I put this in so I can make Dragoon with it. These are like the non- yeah, the uh, Defensive cards? Defensive cards, nice. yeah. So Call by the Grave, no brainer. How many uh, card combo cards are you playing? The 29 cards to play yeah. with, technically, and then there's a brick. Yeah. So nice. anyways, um, yeah, you got to play this card this format. It's dumb. Uh, this card's OK. I just wanted to be somewhere in the mainer side, yeah. and it's fine. Um, I chose this over Book of Moon. I wanted just a main <laughs> out to Pearly Noir and Arise Heart. Does it ever come up that it's a fiend? Yeah, yeah, it comes up a lot <laughs> yeah. that it's a fiend. 
Uh, that way you can just fuse with the... If, as long as you open this with a theme, you're able to play the game. So that's why I wanted to play it. Um, and then, yeah, Gamma, because everyone keeps drolling me after a patchwork or if they oh, patch my brain yes, fusion. So. I should look into that to stop droll. <laughs> yeah, it's sacky, but like, it's cool. It does nice. something. Uh, now we go to the extra deck. Uh, I play, like, my ratios aren't finalized right now. I'm still experimenting a lot with the deck, for sure. Uh, but yeah, let's see here. Sorry, I didn't organize this. Okay, so two of these, two of these. Um, this is the card you go into a lot. Uh, you could play three. It comes, like, the third one comes up by, like, turn five or six, or, like, against Pearly when they steal this card, so it's not in your graveyard, you kind of want to make more of this. So I might find room for a third one. Uh, this one... The third one only came up like once a day. Like I've tried two, I tried three, but two is a fine number. But the third one of these kind of comes up. Um, this is the boss monster of the deck that OT that helps you OTK. It takes one of these and and uh, any number of illusion monsters. And this card also, when it's on the field of the graveyard, can be treated as that name Chimera, the flying mythical beast. You know the original Yugi mo uh, boss monster. So when he's on the field, he's an illusion, so he's indestructible with battle. Uh, and uh, when a battle's an opponent's monster, you get to, at the end of the battle, make their attack zero and effects negated. So because it can attack multiple times up to the materials used for it, you get to like negate their effect, make it zero, and then swing for again for like 3100. So this card does a lot of damage. And like if you can make this with three to four materials, it's usually game. Uh, so that's kind of why you want to play, like, in theory, I want to play find room for a second one of this. So that way you're making this turn one usually, if you have an extra name. Um, and then, on the follow-up, you want to use this and more monsters to, like OTK, so I might find room for a second one. And then we have uh, these cards here. These are, uh, like, your your primary your, your primary interruption with Chimera Fusion is this card, Guardian Chimera, because it pops and draws. But then after that, if you have a second Chimera Fusion, you want to make one of these. Uh, this one's easy to make as it's fusion dark monster. This one takes a monster on the field and in a like extra monster, a monster summon from the extra deck and a monster in your hand. So it's situational, mm -hmm. but on your turn you can summon this to like get some draw. I like, get a draw card and then also like pop cards. So like every, every turn you get a pop a card with this. So it's kind of nice. And it's a fiend, so you can use this to bring it back. Um, then there's the one dragoon for the goddess package and uh, the Garura in case I draw like a bricky hand of just like a lot of fiends. Like I draw like Burfamet, Edgen oh, Package, yeah. and, and Kaiju, and then I can still play the game because I play this and yeah. I get the draw. Yeah, I see how that could come up at times. Yeah, um, then I play the Branded Package, one of this to bridge, uh, these to help you make Mirror Jade. Um, I'm still not finalizing on my ratios, but like so far like all these cards kind of come up. So yeah, this is definitely a good start for the list. And uh, you mentioned once you might have thought about playing Prosperity. Also, a question yeah. as well: Have you ever thought about playing just one branded in red as well? Um, the branded in I played with like the branded trap, and I played with uh, branded in light. Um, branded in red only comes up if you have Alubur or Albaz in the grave, which right. Rarely. I don't know if I should be playing the branded opening package because like that would mean you're you're increasing your odds of opening this and there is a one card combo of this and a normal summon to like get a lot of interruptions but then you're playing yeah. in the nibiru it just seems like it's redundancy and i i didn't want that so i'm trying this out more uh but the branded opening does come up in the mirror match because it protects you from guarding chimera pop so yeah that's definitely an option to look into like playing less hand traps and utility cards for more gas like that could be a thing and then side deck uh three cosmic Duster and Shadal Dragon going second against Skill Drain. And then, um. Shout out Eldritch as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. This card's the most ignorant card <laughs> of the format. Like, one of the most ignorant cards. Yeah, like you, li you literally convinced me to, to play Cross of Desert Air going second and play yeah. one D Barrier <laughs> going yeah. second. Not every deck can play around this card. It's yeah, pretty sad. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, I have to respect the Gimmick Cup Bitlock because that's another dumb card of the format. Uh, so I play this. And it's also kind of good against Pearly when you hit the Sleepy. And then I got three other cards I don't want to talk about. Ah, uh, special secrets. Nicely done, Hankel. Absolutely wonderful job. Uh, do you have anything else you would like to say to the um, wonderful residents of Triv Gaming? I think this deck is pretty cool to play. It's pretty fun. It's cheap. Uh, like like all these cards are what? Like super structured deck cards. And you, all you need are like Guardian Chimeras. So it's pretty affordable. And definitely check out my TCG Player articles on TCG Player Infinite. I wrote about this recently. It's going to be up uh, very soon. Uh, check out Steven's stuff. Steven's merch. These are high quality deck boxes. Yeah. Get them. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Anko. Amazing job. And one more question, Anko. Yeah. Who's going to win the next 3v3 in Toronto? Sure as heck, not you guys. Ha ha ha.